Uh, for this lesson, you're going to need to have your portfolio open to page 85. You're also going to need to have the small orange issues hardcover book with you. And that'll be open to page 36. So two books, the large one open to page 85 and the small one open to page 36. So on top of the page here, it says, um, first thing to do is to read the introduction in section one of the article, Bannett or Baggett. Now uh, we've done that as a class. So now we're gonna move on to identify key details and ideas or ideas and details. So uh, the first question that you and your partner uh, will be um, asking each other, and you're gonna fill this out on your own first, is what is the author's main idea? Uh, so that's the question. Uh, the answer is, well, the author's main idea is blank. And we're gonna fill in this blank with some of your text notes here. Um, so it says, uh, people have opinions for and against blank. Now, if you um, don't know the answer to this, then you probably weren't paying attention during the article. Uh, we know that they're talking about plastic bags and uh, whether they should ban them or not. And so go ahead and fill in this blank uh, with what you think uh, should go here. People have opinions for and against blank. And remember, this is the main idea of the article we just read. So now that we have the main idea kind of nailed down, uh, let's look at the next question. It says, what are the key details in this section? And then you're going to answer with, well, one key detail in this section is blank. Another answer would be, perhaps the most important key detail in this section is blank. So here are three bullet points of ideas that could actually go in either one of these blanks as you're having this conversation with your partner. <clears throat> so let's uh, look at this first one. It says, India, China, and San Francisco have blank bans on blank. So <clears throat> this first blank here, uh, we go to the actual article that we read. So uh, here's a shot of the uh, actual article that we read. This is page 37. And let's come to the top here, page 37. And notice uh, it's the continuation of the sentence before, and the sentence says, um, supporters of a ban know other countries, including India and China, that have successfully implemented bans on disposable bags. So then I come back over here, and I notice that this is the exact same uh, sentence right here. All right, so uh, by looking at the article, I see that, I need the word successfully implemented, bans on, and then disposable bags go here. Or you can say plastic bags. Disposable just means bags you use once and then throw away. So uh, now I want you to fill out these other two bullet points by looking for the answers here in the article. And the answer will be, um, all over page 37. So scan and reread page 37 to find the answer to uh, those questions here uh, in this box. So we're looking for a plastic kills blank and contaminates or poisons, soils, dirties, blank. And then opponents of a ban or people against a ban feel that prohibiting or outlying bags takes away blank. So go ahead and look through page 37 to try to find the answers to these questions. So in this next section down here, condensed ideas, we're gonna practice taking uh, one of the paragraphs that the author wrote and condensing it uh, into kind of our own words down in this area. All right, so we're working to fill out this sentence here to restate in our own words what the author said. Um, now, uh, let's use this red box here, keywords and phrases, and we're going to take some of her words, or the author's words, um, and translate them into uh, synonyms or words that mean the same thing. So we're looking at um, this uh, paragraph here, the one that starts on the bottom of page 36 and ends at the top of page 37. So 
It says countries, and we know that means nations, right? So that's a synonym to mean the same thing. Implemented. Implemented is kind of a tough word, but it essentially means to put into effect. So I'm going to write that down here. Put into effect. Next word is bans, which means rules against. Remember, ban means to outlaw, or we have rules against it. Disposable, and remember, disposable means to, uh, it's a kind of bag that you use once and throw away, like plastic. So we're going to write down plastic right here. And it says, um, was, was, or it became. They pass legislation to ban. Another way to say that would be outlaw. So write outlaw here. So once we've kind of changed some of this into our own words, we're going to go ahead and put these words right down here. So this sentence should read, nations like India and China have already put into effect rules against plastic bags. And San Francisco became the first U.S. city to outlaw plastic bags in 2007. And finally, oh, what you're going to do here at the bottom of the page, we're going to identify precise words. Right? These are academic words that we found in the reading, um, and we're going to write them here so we can use them um, when we uh, write our argument. Because uh, at the end of this unit, you guys will be um, uh, actually doing an argument or giving an argument about whether we should keep plastic bags or ban them. So uh, a domain-specific topic word is a word that has to do with this topic, which is called, we're talking about plastic bags and banning them. So landfills are where all the garbage ends up. That has to do with plastic bags and, and pollution that we're talking about. A high utility academic word are words that we can use in multiple classes, not just talking about plastic bags, but we can talk about many things with them, politics or math or history. So here, uh, and right here it says account for, all right, which means to, uh, be responsible for. All right, so what I want you to do is go through uh, this article here, just section one that we read. So we're not going down to section two yet, but just section one, and copy some words, find two words that uh, specifically have to do with the domain-specific topic words, uh, or words that have to do with pollution or the plastic bag topic here, and write them down here. And then find two high-utility academic words or words that um, don't just have to do with plastic bags or um, pollution, but they, you know, they have to do with just um, words that can be used in multiple classes uh, to help us present an argument. So uh, once you have that done, you'll be finished with this page.